Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. Uh, I'm alone on the server today. Uh, Gabby's computer's been having a little bit of issues. But... Oh, you know, let's... I, I really want to get steel up and running. Uh, because steel takes a very long time to make. I Ooh, no. First things first, make a crystallizer. Because while I have upgraded my drill... As you can see, it's all glowing and enchanted. Uh, yeah, little work has been done over here. I figured you didn't want to see me gathering a bunch of leather and paper and straw and stuff. So I've now got a Fortune 3. Uh, the flux capacitors are holding four, so they hold a, a poop load more. Uh, and then just... I upgraded these to solars just to passively gain power. Uh, I also tried to set up an aquatic entangler. I have not had any luck yet. Like, n not a single fish. I don't know how to get it to work. So if anybody has any advice, uh, let me know in the comments section. Put that away. I've had to upgrade some chests because I've been doing a heck lot of mining. Look at all that. So, first things first, what we want is two source gems, some stone, some gold, one set of you, one set of you. Now, if I am, if, if what I've read is correct... I should literally just be able to set this down and it'll slowly make source gems. Uh, it won't be very fast, but it'll happen. Oh, there's been a few raids, by the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to borrow the hopper from the Aquatic Entangler, because it's been, in a word, useless. Oh, also, I had efficiency four on this drill. It was way too fast, so I took it off and redid it with fortune. So, yeah, so I'll just leave that there and see what happens. With any luck, there will be, uh... Four more source cards. All right, now let's go to the nether, because I want to make thermoelectrics, which requires steel... Which will require blast brick, which requires magma blocks. Um, and that's easy to get in the nether. Or at least should hopefully be easy. Um, we can also, with a centrifugal separator, and... What are you doing? Get out of here. We can also uh, unpack the magma blocks into magma cream and then we can turn the magma cream into you know whatever you do with magma cream or you can also uh centrifugal separate it into uh slime and mm, blaze powder which is i gotta say very heckin useful And let's get some quartz while we're here. God, fortune. What is it? Fortune 3? Yeah. It's brutal. Nope. Nope. Want no part of that. Gotta be careful of all the lava in the nether. Uh, we got close to a stack. That should probably be... I mean, we only need nine to, uh, to make a, a blast furnace. And I'm gonna try for two blast furnaces. I prepped some nether bricks and some regular bricks. But, like I said, we can turn this into blaze powder and slime. 
which is, as one might imagine, very useful. I don't think we need slime for much, but we could definitely use blaze powder. I don't know what for, but something. And I got some pork. Craft. Upgraded food slightly, as you can see. Uh, it's just it's just bread and two fried eggs. Yeah, the, the rescue for this is dead easy. Uh, admittedly, we don't have a ton of wheat, cause I'm really gonna need to up to figure out a better way to set up the sweet berry cookie machine, cause it's. It's just, it's very finicky. It requires a lot of... Because sometimes it'll work for hours at a time, but then when we really start using power, it doesn't work very well. Okay, so this... Want all that. You can go... In here. Uh, that's a plant. And we should be able to now make two sets of the boy. We also need another miscellaneous junk chest. Oh, and uh, zombie villager spawner. Found one of those. And then we're going to want two stacks of iron. Definitely going to want it here in the chunk loaded area. Uh, we'll, we'll expand the chunk loaded area. We can do that. Does this have... Does not have gadgets to build with. Dire would be sad. Uh, you can't automate the basic blast furnace, but you can automate an upgraded version that requires steel to make. And either way, uh, that should get us two stacks of steel right then and there. We are only, we're less than 10 minutes into the episode. I'm feeling pretty good about that. All right, so that's that. Ah, uh, that's that. We're going to want one of this because we need ice, or we can use ice with the thermoelectrics. But for now, let's look at what we need. So it's the multi-servo press with the unpacking die, and then the centrifugal separator. So let's make some of that. So you're going to need bronze. How much bronze do you need? Only two. We got two. We're also going to want... You know, let's just... Let's just get a bunch of Constantine. We're going to need it. Same thing like we got a bunch of Invar. Because... I've, it's been a few days since I've recorded. I've been doing a lot of mining just in the meanwhile. Guys, I mean, just look at all that. Look at all that. So beautiful. Uh, we're going to want iron. Tin is something we need. I need to mine for more of. I'm going to want some glass, some gold. We got a lot of redstone. We should find a use for all that redstone. Machine. For, oh, we're gonna need the the nugs. Let's just make a couple of machine frames. Cause we we're gonna need two for this. Uh, we probably shouldn't have made three. Probably should just made two. But that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Right, 
two of those. You should have a decent amount of Constantin done, yep. One of you, the unpacking dive requires Constantin and Invar. Uh, you may notice the area is very well lit, despite not having torches. I put a Feral Flare Lantern there. And then we're going to want... Where's my Invar? I made a bunch of Invar. And yes, eventually we're going to want to upgrade to a machine to make plates. But that is... that that's That's an eventually thing. That's not something that's super urgent at the moment. Nope. And now I gotta figure out how to get power out of here. God. We, uh, Gabby is going to need to come through and just clean this the heck up. Because it is a mess. Uh, she was planning on building some kind of factory type thing. Alright, so let's put the multi-servo press right here we'll input from the top and output to the side no we will input out the back and output out the top I know what I'm doing and then you Gonna want two more of you. Come, wow, that is. That's pretty dang easy to make. So then we just gotta pop that up there. Give her some power. Oh, and uh, input out the bottom. And auto output. And auto input. Alright, so then couple of drawers. Let's just create eight drawers. Just have some left over. So we'll put you there. That's slime balls. And you there. Okay. And boom, baby. We got ourselves each magma each magma block will turn into four. Uh, of the slime and magma uh, blaze powder. Oh, uh, dirt. We got that. Uh, we're gonna want another chest just for the inputs. Slime and Blaze. That means we have access to potions now, I guess. Oh, we need Nether Wart to make potions. Uh, is there a way to turn Nether Wart blocks into Nether Wart? Yeah. Yeah, there is. Let's, uh, let's unpack a Nether block real quick. And 
walnuts. Yeah, I, I had some extra sweet berries just so we'd have some left over. But uh, let's switch that over to nether quartz. Not nether quartz, nether wart. Yeah, because I've been composting the excess sweet berries because that's what we get excess of. Oh, I guess we have some to spare. I'll just, I'll compost these. What do I even do with magma cream? You make eyes of Galgador. That's sure to be handy. Fire resistance. Okay. So it's good for fire resistance potions. That's not actually terrible. I'll take it. are only 50 minutes into the episode. Uh, let's check on our steel. Should be at least one or two done by now. Oh, and uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's see. What it, how good is steel armor? I think that might be diamond level. Or not quite diamond, but... Is it better than my current armor? Because that's 8 and 1.25. Oh, it is better. 7. Okay, so no. So steel is not better than gems. That's okay. Steel is useful still. Alright. So, we're gonna need some snow to make ice for the thermoelectrics. Because the compressor... I'm going to need you. So how do we make this compressor? It's just a bunch of stone, a machine block. It's pretty easy. Uh, I've prepped a good amount of stone and just general resources. Just for the fun. Uh, we're going to need rubber, which is outside. We're going to need copper, which is in here. We're going to need industrial grade machinery. We're going to need reds. I sh you know what I'm going to do? Two of you. Do we still have a door? We still got a door. Why didn't I do that? Because I'm dumb. Alright, so we're going to need one of you. We're going to need some rubber. Nope. Yep. 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 I did have a little bit of automation set up with that, but I took it away because it wasn't really needed. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to want snow. We want two of you, which means we need eight cells. So that's eight, ten... I'm going to see if I get it back, because tin is a bit of a valuable resource at the moment. If not, it's not the end of the world, but... Can I... I got enough weed over here. Yeah. And you may notice I'm also level 36, despite having enchanted several items. That's just... Oh, it's working! It's working! Let's lock that bad boy up. 
Yes! That's good. That's really good, because that's just passive generation. Do I get the cell then? I do not. Okay. That stinks, but it's not the end of the world. It saves me a whole bunch of exploring. I, I've been around, and I have not found much of any... Uh, uh, snow. Otherwise, I would have picked it up. Oh, it's getting to be nighttime. Come on, let me take a nap. Is there an automated miner? Breaker. Hmm. I think it might this might have to be manual. Gonna, I'm just gonna make a like a stone shovel. Also, I haven't tested this or anything, so I really hope this works. Otherwise, I just wasted a bunch of tin. All right, so I know you kind of have to uh, keep them safe. The uh, the snow boys. So let's you know what let's let's not do cobblestone I got I got materials I can be fancy about this not necessarily fancy fancy but See, is there any other types of glass? Reinforced glass, hardened glass, toned glass. No, no, there's no smooth glass or whatever. Oh, and I dingered the dang. Oh no, I have to carve it first, right? How do you get a carved... Do you hit it with an axe? Do you hit it with shears? I am... I am at a loss. Where are the shears? There are the shears. Yes. Victory has been achieved. I'm gonna glass it up to the roof. And I'm not concerned about losing glass. I have giant amounts of it. Okay, that works. I am sure there is a way to automate that, and I am equally sure that I don't really need to at the moment. You know what, actually, what does it take to make a blast chiller? Because this can make ice directly from water, and snowballs using the same thing. Requires some packed ice. Which requires, so we're going to need 18 ice. We got that. Oh, 
let's grab a quick hippity hoppity hopper. Just so I don't have to babysit it too much. Yes. And while that's going on, let's find out. Oh, and the extruder, that's here for plastic. Let's figure out what we need to be plastic. So we need some more Invar. I should make some more. But let's grab what we got already. Let's grab that boy. Uh, you go away. I don't... I know it's just stone and... Like, it's, it's, it's stone and sticks. I don't need to keep it. But I want to. I, I just... Y y y I, I, I'm loath to throw stuff out. You and me will win. What was I looking for? Nuts. I don't have enough. I got enough. And yeah, and this is another thing that we should uh, make more efficient, but it's not really a big concern of mine. What do I do with packed ice? Because you can make that, yeah, you can make that into blue ice, which is the best. Oh, and you can make basalt with it. You're empty. You're still processing. Yeah, look at all that. Mm, that's that good stuff. Alright, so three more. We'll let the whole thing process, why not? You know what? I'll tell you why not, because I don't want to. I don't know why that other recipe's there. It doesn't seem very useful. The one where you use a frozen core to uh, to to make it. All right. Input. Output with auto output enabled. Give me. Drawer. You should now make ice. And you know what? Actually, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to use something I haven't used yet in this series. And that is a compacting drawer. Have I made pistons yet? I'm not sure I have. Uh, give me some of you. Do I still have stone? I still have stone on me. Yeah. Too bad there's no achievement to let me know if that's, what, if that's the first piston I've made. What? Oh. I get it. It's because... It's it's because it doesn't compact... It compacts upwards naturally. 
but it doesn't go down. Like, you can't turn blue ice into packed ice or anything like that just without without uh, needing a special tool or something. Uh, let me see. Does cobblestone compact? No. So, you know what? I'm going to find a use for this. And that use is going to be redstone. Ooh, baby. Oh, that's full. It's good to know. Good to know. Uh, building block, dirt, cobble. I void upgraded the cobblestone. I'm loath to waste stuff, but it's it's cobblestone, and I have 384 stacks of it. Alright. I would say that we are doing pretty well for ourselves. How much? So blue ice would require 81 of the ice. Because I'm going to. I'm just going to real quick. going to pull out the engineer's manual. Thermoelectric. So blue ice is 200 Kelvin, block uranium is 2,000 Kelvins. Fiery metal's better, but we're not, we haven't gone to the Twilight Forest yet. But we do have uranium. All right. Uh, let's let's just see how much redstone we got. How many blocks of redstone? That's a lot. See you guys later.